Welcome back to our channel. Today we're here to talk about the platforms that SpaceX is all set to launch. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel to never miss a tech update. So without any further delay, let's get started quickly. Billionaires Elon Musk, private space company SpaceX, recently announced a prototype of the new spacecraft called the SN20. It's fixed to the company's super heavy booster and is ready for launch. Elon Musk and SpaceX have not disclosed the exact details of the launch, but experts predict that the launch tower will be completed by the end of July. Find out more inside about the rocket and planned mission. The new rocket, combined with the booster, stands 394 feet high. In comparison, the Statue of Liberty is 305 feet above the ground. When the launch tower is ready, the SN20 will be launched into low Earth orbit from the SpaceX Boca Chica facility in Texas. The prototype rocket will be launched from Texas but will land off the coast of Hawaii. It is expected to stay in orbit for 90 minutes. The reusable booster will land when detached from the rocket and land in the Gulf of Mexico. Mexico, 20 miles from the coast. Elon Musk says a SpaceX spacecraft launch rocket to Mars can use its doors to collect space debris. Space debris is in poor condition, and the US Space Surveillance Network, or SSN, claims to be currently tracking 27,000 space debris of various sizes. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency, or ESA, claims that there are about 34,000 objects over 10 cm in diameter and 900,000 objects orbiting the Earth 1 to 10 cm. This amazing number will probably only increase as more and more satellites are connected to space. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk suggests that SpaceX's spacecraft to Mars, a Starship currently under development, may have a solution that chops space debris. In response to a tweet asking how to finally collect the surrounding space debris, Musk tweeted, You can fly a spacecraft around space and chop it up with a moving fairing door. How? The Musk doesn't delve into the details, but SpaceX's user guide on Starship's rocket system opens itself when the fairing door, like a giant cover, reaches a particular orbit and then reaches space. Can do. It states that the ship can deploy itself. The Starship fairing door can also be closed shortly before Starship returns to Earth. SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell also said that Starship can pick up space debris that is currently orbiting our planet. The above debris can be stored in Starship's cargo hold until it safely returns to Earth. The launch tower plays a major role in orbiting spacecraft with very large flights. The timeline for this project is a short version of such a huge project. There is no doubt about the fact that SpaceX is keeping up with this set of records. SpaceX has employees who work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on this project. Every day something new happens. Therefore, we cannot deny how fast it is progressing. Now, the big question is what is the mainstay of the tower? How are spacecraft and super heavy boosters stacked on top of it? Now, let's talk about the weight lifter for the super heavy launcher. Novads 30Q. These automatic draw work system or ADS are equipped with AC monitors which provide significantly higher performance than traditional draw work, require less maintenance and require about half the space and weight. AC Electric Single Speed Gear Drive SSGD draw work offers an industry-specific design. By supplying power to the draw work with an AC motor, we have created a single shaft, single speed draw work with winding performance comparable to that of conventional draw work. The result is a simple, lightweight design with fewer mechanical parts and a smaller footprint. This draw work requires minimal maintenance and is completely self-contained. Dual speed gear driven draw work sets new standards in the drilling industry. These AC draw works feature a two speed helical gearbox mounted directly on the drum shaft, making them ideal for any application where size and weight are important factors. The two speed function provides fast hoisting speed and heavy hook load hoisting function. The new DSGD CX425 draw work is a simple modular design that provides the flexibility needed for most drill floor configurations. The system is already installed in the tower. Much like it is installed in an oil rig. Theoretically, this could power the stacking crane and slow down the booster without the use of counterweights. The big advantage of SpaceX is that the system being tested for land orbit launch already exists on the sea launch platform. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.